Hey everybody, my name is Chris and welcome to my channel. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. I appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me today. Today is Thursday, October 3rd, and it's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, I figured I would come upstairs and do a small little Timu haul with y'all. I gotta stop that. <laughs> How's everybody doing today? Uh, today's been a good day. Uh, gave Chloe a bath a little earlier and she was really good. She did well. And uh, of course then she wanted to go outside and roll around in the yard right after we gave her a bath. So um, Charlie will get his bath later on today. And uh, he's going to be a little bit more of a problem I think. he uh, He's a little grumpier. But they both need one and uh, it's gotta get done, so. Um, let's see what else. Oh gosh. So, since it's the beginning of October, I said that we were going to watch a scary movie every night of October. I will say that October 1st, we did not watch a movie. I kind of bailed. I, um, I'd been without my meds for a little over a week due to some insurance issues and I feel like I've got something on my lip. Sorry. But um, due to insurance issues uh, I was without my meds for a little over a week and it was an, uh, it was an emotional roller coaster and um, the depression was real. I, I was tired all the time. I was taking naps during the day. I was in bed by 7 o'clock. Sometimes six o'clock and I would sleep all the way until the next morning. I would get up a few times during the night but I would go right back to bed. So and um, you know I did get back on my meds so things are a little better. It's only I got back on them yesterday yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. So it uh Looking up and up, you know? All right, sorry, here we go. It's just a small little bag today. Just a few things I wanted to share with y'all. I did want to mention that, oh, sorry. So we didn't watch a movie on the first. And then last night we decided to watch Mousetrap. I don't know if y'all heard about this movie but it's the Mickey Mouse horror movie. And please, whatever you do, do not, do not bother yourself with this movie. Um, I, I am all about watching some cheesy, scary movies, you know, that are stupid, but this was beyond bad, beyond bad. Kyle made a comment that he thought maybe AI wrote this movie because it was just terrible writing, terrible acting. Uh, the storyline didn't make any sense. The ending was, I don't even know what that was. But, I mean, you can watch it, you know, judge for yourself. But I, I, I think that we should have recorded ourselves watching the movie because our commentary was better than the movie. So, um... Um, 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 um. But tonight we'll watch another movie. Uh, since I'm back on my meds, I think that the, my nights will get, you know, a little later and later. Uh, I know Kyle's got football to watch with some of his friends tonight. So, I'm not sure what time that starts. But, okay, so, sorry. First item in the bag that I bought 
was, or is, a Christmas item. And it was $2.85. It was on sale. It's about doubled that right now. And I think these are so cute. I love these things. I remember them from when I was a kid. And they're just little battery operated Santa Clauses that go up the stairs and then go down the slide and then go back up the stairs. Um, let me see. We can pull that. We can pull this out and look at it. Maybe. Comes with stickers. That you can put on yourself. So apparently this one's not battery operated. You manually do it yourself, it looks like. There is a lever right here. So that's kind of disappointing. I thought it was battery operated. But that's okay. It will be just fine. And I think that oh no, where does this go? I'll figure this out later. I won't make you guys watch me do this, but it comes with well, this one. It was supposed to come with I thought like six of these little Santas. Curious. Okay, so yeah. But it comes with two of the Santas, your little stairwell, and I think it'll be cute to be on display, you know. I really do wish it was battery operated, and I'll probably look for one that's battery operated. But for 285. It'll be cute to have on display somewhere. Oh, I forgot to put the stickers in the box. Uh, but yeah, we'll probably watch a movie tonight and then um, definitely tomorrow night. Yeah, so let me take a drink of water real quick. I also wanted to tell you that the foot those, um, what were they? They were, uh, moisturizing booties for your feet that I bought and I hauled, like, two videos ago. Those work really well. And I think they were just, like, uh, under $2 for the ones I paid for. And I know that there's deals on there where you can get, like, a five-pack or you can get, like, buy one, get one free on these items. Um, but they work really well. My feet felt like butter afterwards. They were really soft. Um, and I've got caveman feet. So, um, and also the pink Himalayan body scrub. Amazing. Amazing. It did get caught up in my, my, I almost said breast, my chest hair a little bit, but, um, it was wonderful for the skin and it smells awesome so next item is a watch band for my apple watch and it is halloween themed for 293 and it's just a simple buckle one which, honestly, the first time I bought one of these kind of buckle or straps, I couldn't figure out how to do it. It just didn't look right to me the way it was. But, yeah, it makes total sense. I, I've got one on like that right now. But, yeah, for $2.93 for a Halloween wristband, 
That'll be good for the month. I'll put that on. Well, let me put that on right now. If I don't break it down. Na, na, na. It'll take two seconds. Click, click. All right, let me put this back on. Almost done, sorry. And then I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, it keeps on coming. It keeps on popping off the old brace thing. Come on, don't see. Here. I am just going to do this. It's really frustrating me. I'm sorry. Now I'm bound and determined to get this thing on here without it popping off. Whatever. I will fix it in a little while, but there you go. I can't get this part tucked in without it coming off the little, um, you know, piece doodad. So it's going to be loose right now. I'll put my other one over there and I'll put that away. That took a while. I apologize. <laughs> um, I think tonight that We'll probably watch like Nosferatu, which we were planning to watch on the first night. And then, damn it, why do they do this? Um, so we'll probably watch one of the Stephen King movies tonight. I got a sticker for 224. And I don't know why, but they put, okay, they put both stickers on the back. But they put the one sticker right over his face. And this is Cornelius from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. If you know, you know. <laughs> um, one of my favorite holiday cartoons. And then we have this little pedicure set, which was 207. And it comes with a brush to scrub your toes, your toenails. It comes with a, I believe this is for your, like your cuticles to clean them up and cut away the dead skin. Oh, that's lovely. Well. And it comes with your foot scraper. Oh, see, this thing is all jacked up. It was 207 and it's all, it's broke. Okay, so this is all broke. What else does it come with? It comes with a nail file. It comes with a callus shaver. Some extra razors. It comes with a little knife. I do not know what this is for, but it looks scary. It comes with another like a pumice stone on one side and an abrasive side over here. And then this one is a file. So yeah, I mean the only thing out of there that's is the uh, shaver part. 
I guess. For, what did I say? 207. So, I mean, it's got everything else in there that I can use. It is a lot smaller than I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be much larger, but what do you expect for 207, right? Alright, next we have, let's see, oh, we have some pins, and these were $1.31. There's two in here, so they were two for $1.31. Let me open them both up and then I'll show you. And so we've got pebbles from the Flintstones. And then we have Bam Bam. And two enamel pins for $1.31 is a great deal. And you know I love my enamel pins. I need to start buying more so I can fill up my board. We have another pin. This one was free. This was one of my items from Timu Circle. And this one is a enamel pin of those leaf bags that you fill up with your leaves for Halloween and they look like jack-o'-lanterns. Or this one does, but you can get them, they look like, you can get one that looks like a spider, um, jack-o'-lanterns. I mean, they look like, I don't know if they're really popular anymore, but they were when I was younger. So that was free. And this one was also free. It was my other item from the Team Moose Circle. And it's another enamel pin. And this one is to look like, like a Happy Meal from Halloween with your jack-o'-lantern uh, pail, your pumpkin pail. So I thought that was cute. So I've got four more pins for my board. Oh, we have uh, two more pins and I think that's it for pins. This one was $1.43. And this one says, probably thinking about dogs or serial killers. It's totally me. And then the last pin we have was 95 cents. And this one is of our good friend, Bigfoot. So that's it for the pins. I know that much. Get to tighten the screw on this side. Excuse me. I'm gonna try to remember to get a picture of my pin board so you can see how well it's coming along. And then we'll, you know, we'll post a picture of it. You know, like here. Yeah, here. Would oh, you like my necklace? This was gifted to me from my husband. It's from Timu. My nails are from Timu. My sweater is from Timu. I'm gonna throw this away. And we'll grab something else out of the bag. 
these were, or this was, six twenty-three. And I wanted to order cards to send off for Halloween. And I was looking, I was looking, and I had found some really cute cards. And I was gonna buy them, they were in my cart. And then I thought, you know what? I have a feeling someone else is gonna buy these same cards, or they have already. Let me find something different. And sure enough, and it was the one person I thought for sure would buy Halloween cards to send off. Rochelle from Onyx Moon Home and Halls. If you haven't watched her channel, please go over and check her out. She's amazing. Um, she does videos with her husband sometimes. And they're a lot of fun. And I think you guys would really like her if you haven't checked her out. And if you, if you have, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. She's an amazing woman. Um... So, uh, yeah. Anyways, so she, I just watched one of her videos, and she had hauled the, the cards that I was going to buy. But I bought some other ones, and I'll show you a few of them. And they're just blank inside. Like, this one says, Happy Halloween. This one says, Trick or Treat. Happy Halloween with an owl. And this one says boo with a ghost. And I want to say that's it. Yep, there's four different kind. And there's 24 in here. And they do come with envelopes. So I'm excited to get those together and use my little wax seal and send those off. That's exciting. And then, but yeah, Rochelle hauled those cards, and I thought, you know what, I knew she would. Out of anybody, I knew it would be her. All right, next item in here was three seventy nine. Oh, and these are just some plain like grayish blue um, nails for $3.79 but I figured I've got these little rubber duck um, charms that I might put on one or two of them I don't know I might but I wanted something like a blank canvas so but I'm surprised I paid $3.79 for those What's this stuff? Oh, this is trash. Sorry, some papers were falling off my chair and I didn't know what they were from. Okay, you guys. So I saw these and I thought, should I or shouldn't I? <laughs> And of course I did, because I needed to. There were more fake nails, and these were 422. Let me get them out of here, because you need to see them in all their glory. And these are Halloween nails. Come on. Come on. these all straightened up here. And they are ghosts. Literal ghost. I don't know how anybody would be able to do anything with them on, but I will be putting these on sometime this month and doing a video. I'll have them on at some point. 
I wonder if they glow in the dark. That'd be kind of cool if they did. But yeah, they're... They're kind of long, for my liking. I mean, they could be filed down. But then they wouldn't look like ghosts. Some of them have little witch hats on them. They got rosy cheeks. But yeah, those uh, those will be interesting to do. And next we have for two sixty three. Do you guys have any suggestions for movies to watch? I am open for suggestions. I will be honest, I don't like um, movies like Saw or Hostel that are gory. I'm not much of, I'm not much for the gore. This was a hat and it might be too small for my big old head. So we shall see. It's not too bad. I like the checkered look. And it's got two buckles on, on each side. I guess that can be adjusted a little bit. And there's snap buckles. Adjusted. I don't know how much it really matters, but let's try that. Oh, that's a little better. Yeah. I like wearing that. Looks nice. What about backwards? Oh, no. I don't like that. I don't like the design on the back to wear it backwards like that. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. There we go. Oh, and I might reach in my dad era. <laughs> I like that. All right, up next, we have, let's see what else we can do. For 5.93, we have, Three flags for Halloween. Flags. One, two, wait, three, four, five. Five flags for Halloween. Oh, oh, oh. All right, let's see. And they're all individually wrapped. I believe they're all different. Let's see how big these are. And they're one-sided. Can you see that? There we go. They're a good size. It is a good size. So the first one's orange and black. It says Halloween. It's got some spider webs and spiders and a ghoulish face at the top. Yeah, they're all different, so. Is the end. Oh, I found it. There we go. Oh, you guys, if you haven't gone over to Chad and Susie's channel and checked them out, please do so. They are so excited. 
and I'm excited for them. They just hit 200 subscribers. You guys are on your way. And now they can join the affiliate program for Timu. Here's the second banner. And that's cute. It's got a silhouette of a witch in front of the moon with some bats. It says Halloween in black and white. And then it's purple and got some ghosts and bats, jack-o'-lanterns and skulls. Very cute. And I want to say they're about three foot long, you think? And I honestly, if I use them this year, I only need three of them out there. At the most. But yeah, check out Chad's rad stuff. Him and his wife Susie are awesome. They do videos together. They've been doing these blind boxes from Five Below lately. Very cute, funny. Alright, the next one's blue and black and white. And it's got some ghosts and some moons and jack o' lanterns and candies. And a ghoulish face at the top. I don't know about this one. I mean, it's cute, but I never thought of this color or this shade of blue as uh, on caught. I just got my sweater caught. I never thought of blue as really a Halloween color, but I never thought of pink as a Halloween color until I went to look at all the Halloween items this year and saw all this pink everywhere. It surprised me. Pink and orange was like everywhere in the Halloween sections. Um, you know, even looking online. Oh. Alright. This next banner is black and red and it's got skulls all over it and they do have the three eyelids at the top so you can hang them cute we have one more this one looks like it might be fun I will link everybody's channels down below in my um, description box. There's quite a few channels I think everybody should check out and would really enjoy. All right, this last one is black and orange and gold, like, or yellow. And it's got witches and ghosts and pumpkins and bats and spiders. And that's cute. I like this one. They're not the best material. I mean, they're going to hold up in the weather. I don't know what kind of material this vinyl, maybe. I don't know. They're not going to tear easily, though. I can tell you that. Put those over there for now. I think we have one more item in here. Oh, snap. Yeah, we have one more item in here. And then we'll be done. Oh, let me tell you. You guys, the funniest thing, funniest thing, funniest thing. We remember the cookie jar. The Halloween cookie jar that I got. It's back there. Um... And I was talking about how Timu was still saying that it was on the way here. And even the FedEx was like, still to be delivered or whatever, you know, and excuse me. Um, so I was watching it and watching it and it was like, 
you know, your cookie jar. It was the cookie jar. It had a picture of the cookie jar and everything. Timu, on the Timu site, it was saying this package will be delivered on this date. So I'm sitting there waiting and waiting and waiting, thinking I'm going to have two cookie jars. Mine was already delivered, and nobody sent me one for friend mail. So I'm like, I'm going to have two cookie jars, and I didn't pay for one of them. So I got a notification. I was upstairs, and I got a notification saying that the package was delivered. So I rush downstairs, and I go outside, and I get the package. It's a box like this big, this wide, and I'm like, it's not a cookie jar. It was heavier, for one, larger box, but it said the cookie jar had just been delivered. So I open up the package, and it is nothing from Timu. Nothing at all. It's a pair of shoes that I'm reviewing in an upcoming video. Um, a company reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to do a review for a pair of shoes, and I said yes. So somehow, I don't know how, but the tracking number and everything for my shoes, through FedEx somehow, I don't know, but they have nothing to do with Timu, but Timu is tracking that package. Isn't that crazy? It's crazy. Last item in the bag, y'all. And this was $5.71. And I have seen these going for, you know, $10, $15, almost $20. And it's the Anti-Planner. How to get done when you don't feel like it. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to buy this thing and I'm going to check it out. And one of us, if not both of us, will use this. So let's take the plastic off. And we'll open this up. And it's just got a cover sheet. And let's see. Let's see. It says, let me start this off by saying one thing. Your worth is not measured in productivity. Did you read that? I feel like you may have skimmed over it kind of fast. I want to make sure this really sinks in. Your worth is not measured in productivity. That being said, this book will hopefully help you get shit done. Because you want to. Not because you're afraid you have to. You've got this and I believe in you. And that's from the writer, designer, Danny Donovan. And it's just got a little intro. How to take care of the thing. The thing. No matter what it may be. It's cute. It's got some illustrations at the front. Got a forward anti planner 101. Self defeating BS. Nice. Is they suggest using a pencil or a reasonable pen. And it's got chapters. Like the first one, Stuck. I am feeling stuck. And it's got How Are You Feeling? Um, difficulty Getting Started. Indecisive. A Perfectionist. Distracted. Let's see. And so... Huh. It's 
got a lot of challenges in here. A lot of a lot of tasks. So I think this is gonna be really cool. Let's see. What's the next chapter? I will tell you what the tabs are kinda chintzy, but the next chapter is I'm feeling overwhelmed. And then you've got unmotivated, disorganized, discouraged, and there's a section for extras. So, let's see. So yeah, it's not, it's really not a planner. It's to help you do things like to become motivated to get stuff done, so cute. Um, I'm wondering if the ones that are $20 and whatnot are hardback, because this is already getting beat up. But that's fine, I wanted to look at it, I wanted to check it out. And for the price of $5 and some change, it was well worth it, so. All right, you guys, I think that's it. I didn't have anything else to talk about. I think I've rambled on enough for today. Um, I hope you guys have a great day and great rest of your week. And I will see you soon. Take care of yourselves and each other. Bye.